Hi guys, so today I am filming one of the most requested videos and the video that I'm filming is basically how I style my abayas with shalers. I never really wear the shaler that comes with an abaya because I like to mix it up. Usually you find that the shaler really matches the abaya but doesn't really match the embellishments as much and it looks kind of monotone and one-toned. And I understand why designers do that but at the same time, I feel like when I get a new abaya and I want to style it, I want a bit of myself in that abaya or in the way that I carry it and wear it. This abaya originally came with a mauve grey toned shayla matching the abaya, but I think it looks beautiful with pink shades. Pink shades recently have been extremely on trend and I feel like if we are going to dress to season, we should follow trends to an extent but add our own twist to it, if that makes sense. And as a blogger, I feel like that's what I'm there to do and that's what I'm there to show. So this one I teamed with this lovely light pink shayla and I'm gonna show you two shaylas for each abaya so you can see the sort of difference it makes and how it sort of brings out the abaya in a different way. I really sort of love mixing the shaylas to match the embellishment, even if it clashes. I feel like what it does is it brings out a different sort of personality. So for example, if I see someone on the street wearing my same abaya, it's not something where I'd be like, oh my god, I'm wearing the same outfit as her. It's more a thing of how have I styled it, how has she styled it, how does this um, reflect on the way that I dress myself. This shayla has probably been the shayla that I've worn the most this season. I feel like it really, really looks gorgeous with grey tones, which is why I teamed it with the abaya initially. It does sort of reflect and work well with the embellishments too, whereas the other one really matches the pink stones in the embellishment. This one is a lot darker but still looks beautiful with grey tones because it brings out the mauviness in them. And again, it's quite on trend with spring, summer. In summer, I do like to wear more lively colours, whereas in winter I stick to navies and greys. Um, I always wear white, whatever the season, because I feel like white does really look beautiful on darker skin tones and really brings out more of a feminine touch. So this abaya has a beautiful monochrome look to it. It has the black, white and the light sort of grey in it. So you could really match it with any shayla. Any three of those shaylas would look amazing with it. For daytime, I like to go for a black uh, because black I feel is more classic. It sort of offsets the black lining and the black pockets on this abaya. Whereas in the evening, I would probably go for a lighter shade, which is usually the opposite. But I feel like with the evening, a lighter shade would look better because you could do more of a glam makeup look and match it to your shoes nicely. So with white, if I have an event to go to, if I'm going somewhere special, that's when I wear white. White is quite a hard shader to maintain. People always ask me how I keep my white shaders clean and the truth is, you genuinely can't. It will always get makeup around the edges but you just have to keep folding it in every time you adjust your shader. White also brings out, I think, the face and the makeup a lot more and reflects the abaya in a very nice way because it adds more of a glamorous, modern twist to the abaya. So because this abaya is a dusty rose baby pink shade, you can really play around with the different coloured shaders that you could team it with. The reason why I teamed it with this extremely, extremely light baby pink is because I feel like it adds a very beautiful, sophisticated daytime soft look, it's very feminine and doesn't make the abaya look too harsh against it uh, which is why I think it pairs well gorgeously with a light pink. Here you can see how it looks teamed with a dusty rose darker shade. Again it brings out a completely different undertone to the abaya and creates a completely different look and the way that you style it with your shoes and handbags will also reflect on how the shayla matches. Sometimes, just as an example, I would wear a completely full white abaya with a coloured shayla with matching heels and that will completely change the way that the abaya looks overall and that's how you play around with these undertones of different shades. So this abaya to me is a wardrobe staple. By wardrobe staple what I mean is when you are starting your abaya collection you want to start with for example a black abaya, a white abaya, a grey abaya, navy and a nude maybe and what that means is that you sort of play on those colours and you can mix and match and add different tones, different shaders, different accessories to them while you're building your collection. So I definitely feel like this colour is one of those colours that is wearable throughout the year. It goes with every season and looks gorgeous on all skin tones. I teamed it with a grey shader because I feel like it does add more of a glamorous soft touch to the colour. 
So the reason why this Abaya looks gorgeous with a black shader too is because of the black lining detail. So it sort of offsets the black lining on the Abaya. Um, with greys, you can wear blacks. So you can mix it with black, white, greys, even with navies. This Abaya looks gorgeous with a navy shader and navy shoes too. And that just goes to show how you can style something in a completely different way than what it may have been intended to look like. So with this Abaya, I chose to match my shayla with the embellishments right here. You can see the copper toned embellishments uh, on the Abaya, which is why I chose this coppery brown shaded shayla. It offsets the Abaya in a completely different dimension. This Abaya originally came with a black shayla, but I felt like wearing black with it wouldn't do justice to how much beautiful work is actually on it. So whenever I've worn this Abaya in the past, I've always teamed it with an off-white creamy looking shayla because this Abaya to me is a very modern Abaya. It has some gorgeous embellishments which I wanted to play off. So just to show you, it has this tassel detail right here which is what I teamed the shayla with. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and it was beneficial to you in some way or another. Um, by no means does this mean that you should dress in a certain way or you should perceive the way you dress in a certain way. I feel like style is a matter of choice and a matter of how you're feeling on the day, but I hope it gives you an insight in a different sort of way of teaming your shaylas and accessories with a certain abaya that you have. Um, and I hope that you guys did enjoy it. Do feel free to comment below and let me know what you wanna see next. I always love going through your comments and your ideas and opinions on what I'm doing. And it does hopefully make me better and hopefully you see as videos go on that I am trying to improve and taking on your feedback. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time inshallah. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like. Mwah.